for Monday the 18th of September. Welcome to another update via the Force 13 Australia Oceania team. Currently on the screen is another look at Australia's eastern and the southwestern Pacific regions. Also for Australia's western region taking in part of the South Indian Ocean. Unfortunately uh, the news isn't good up there in the uh, Northern Hemisphere. The Caribbean region is to experience another hurricane. The Tasmanian Bureau of Meteorology Office has a severe weather warning for damaging winds in place for the King Island and Western Upper Durant Valley, South East, East Coast, Central Plateau, Midlands, part of the North East, North West Coast and Central North Forecast Districts, updated at 10.20. A cold front will weaken near the West of Tasmania during Monday while low, another cold front will approach the North West. Monday evening, directing a strong northwesterly airstream over Tasmania. Damaging winds, locations much which may be affected include Swansea, Strathairn, New Norfolk Island, Geeferson and Dover. We have a updated uh, marine wind warning for Tasmania, gale warning currently in place far north central north coast and a strong wind warning for the Durham Estuary, Frederick Henry Bay, Norfolk Bay, Storm Bay Channel, Bank Strait, Franklin Sound, east of the Flinders Island upper east, lower east south east, south west central west coast and a small craft alert. And over in uh, Tes uh, correction, uh, Victoria, severe weather warning for the central southwest parts of East Gippsland, north central, northeast, west, and south. Gibson forecast districts updated 11.02. Strong northerly winds ahead of a cold front which will cross the state during Monday afternoon and evening and a low pressure system expected to move to the south of the state Monday night. Resulting in a strong gusty westerly flow over coastal southern parts. And this is the warning area. Mount William and the Grampians recorded a wind gust of 117 kilometres an hour at 6.18 a.m. today. And this is a list of the current warnings in Victoria. Some flood warnings have been cancelled. Minor flood warning for the, the Latrobe River. A warning is currently in place, Port Phillip Bay, West Coast, Central Coast, Central Gippsland and East Gippsland Coast. Strong wind warning for the Western Port and the Gippsland Lakes. And down there in South Australia we have a 
severe weather warning for parts of the lower southeast district. May pressure system forecast to pass to the south of the state this afternoon and evening and damaging wind gusts in excess of 90 kilometres an hour and this is the area under the warning. And we have a gale warning for the lower southeast coast, strong wind warning for the lower west central coast, south central coast. Spencer Gulf, Gulf St Vincent, Investigator Strait and the upper southeast coast. The latest precipitation via the GFS model. This information is always available on the Tropical Tidbits website. And for the owner operator of uh, the Tropical Tidbits, uh, Levi Cowan, uh, he is uh, having a, a very a busy time with the tropical activity up there in the Northern Hemisphere. A look at the precipitation for the Indian Ocean region. For me uh, personally, I have been very busy helping uh, Nathan over there in Manchester, the UK with um, producing a video content on the severe tropical scene up there in the Northern Hemisphere. And when this one uh, becomes a uh, Public will be working on an update for Hurricane Maria. This is the latest Bureau of Meteorology rainfall across the forecast period and three areas of interest the uh, Southwest WA, the tropical North Queensland coast, and again the west coast of Tasmania. Look at windy.com one or two wind features and this is across the next four days. Previously mentioning we are now fast approaching the start of the 2017-18 tropical cyclone season and I'm personally rating with interest to see what the Bureau will put in their tropical cyclone outlook in report. look at wind shear and nothing unusual with uh, this type of uh, view considering the time of year and shear tendency the A50 millibar vorticity the higher level vorticity is the right and the scale on the right hand side of the screen and this is a look at the BSCH wind feature across the next 24 hours and the wind speed in knots is the bottom left of the screen. And there are a couple of uh, deep low 
pressure systems to the south of Australia. And associated with the lows, the clockwise winds. The old cyclone chases uh, Nitso and a couple of others on their Facebook page have a very interesting article on the tropical North Queensland coast wheat rainfall and this is storm probability across the same period 24 hours A look at instability And to the east of Sydney. And you can notice the area to the north of Sydney up into Queensland's southeast corner. You can follow Force 13's outlets, the website force13.co.uk at your service at any time. You can also find us on YouTube, the channel, search Force 13, all in text, and subscribe if you haven't already. You can also find us on Facebook at Force 13, and it's at Force 13 on Twitter, that's the handle to contact us there. You can also add Fool13 on Skype, that's F-O-O-L-1-3, and add extension 9094 on Discord for Tropical Weather Chat.